Hi Pisces, it is Saturday morning today you guys and it's March 25th, 2023 and it is 2.28 a.m. right now here in Texas as I'm starting your reading. So let's see what your tarot cards are today, what you need to be aware of. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? All right, Pisces, let's see what your tarot cards are today. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? All right, the first card you have is the Six of Wands. We're going to go back and clarify all of these, you guys, like we always do in our get-togethers. And then you have the Ace of Cups. And the Lovers. Wow. Gemini energy. You got new love that showed up here in the past, Pisces. It's like someone was really recognizing you and this new love walked into your life but we're gonna wait until i clarify to see what's going on you have the eight of wands and the center card of your reading is the three of cups okay and then you have the four of pentacles the Queen of Wands, Judgment, and you have the Four of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords, and you have the Tower, and you got this King of Wands here. So you have the King and the Queen of Wands. Let's see what's happening. Why is the Six of Wands here, Spirits? Okay. I'm feeling like um, with the Six of Wands here, Pisces, This is success, victory, crossing over the finish line. There's people in your life cheering you on as you do this. Um, there's some type of success here that happened in the past. And it's like some something came up behind you. And it's showing up as love. This Knight of Cups. So someone here was really looking up to you seeing you as this queen of pentacles male or female like you have everything put together they see you as this loving kind type of motherly energy i'm not reading the gender here though and then you have the queen of cups so you're going to show up here as the empress also and i feel like um Boy, it's like this snuck up behind you, Pisces, but I feel like you offered your cup of love back. And then you have the Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Wow. You have a true soulmate here in your reading. But there seems to be like a conflict here where there could be some arguments that happened in the past. As I'm looking into the past. But this is definitely love. You have the Ace of Cups here. And you've got someone here and I feel like this person, this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But um, with within the soul connection the person that you're dealing with they've gone from a page to a knight
this is really, really an interesting reading today, you guys. And I'm feeling like they like spared his hair with us. Tell me why this person is in Pisces life. Why did this person come into Pisces life? We have the sun, the yes card, the sun and the moon. I feel like Pisces, um, this person, this moon energy is yours. This is Leo energy. Um, we have Cancer here also. But this person came into your life for a reason. There's a healing energy next to you with this person, with this soul connection. It's the sun and the moon. It's like you're both opposites of each other. And I feel like this person... Um, it's like this person was sent into your life here as actually a blessing, like an eye in the sky. Like you're being joined with this person here from the divine. It's a healing energy. Um... It's a it's a once in a lifetime thing that you would find this particular person that's showing up here in your reading. This is a twin flame soul connection here, Pisces. And you may even question this love because this feels too right. Yeah, you might be fighting an inner battle here with the five of wands. Over whether or not you want to give your love to this person. And I'm not sure why that is. Now we even have the King and the Queen of Cups. And in the center, the Ace of Cups. Like a match made in heaven here. Why is the King of Cups here? This person truly does love you. And this person wants to fight for you, um, whoever this is. They're like fighting. I feel like this, this person would fight people off for your love. Or fight conflict off to get other things out of their life to clear the way for you to come in. And then you have the Eight of Wands here. This person that's that's showing up here in the past, they could be a different nationality with the world showing up there. Yeah, this this could be um, someone that you meet while you're traveling. Or when you make a move. If you haven't met this person yet, they're going to show up here. And they show up here all red. A lot of passion here, a lot of fire, a lot of attraction. But there's something, something here that's wrong. Okay, out of everything that's right, something's wrong with the Five of Pentacles. Let me find out what that is. It's like everything's perfect, but something is wrong here. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Seven of Cups. Page of Wands. And the Two of Pentacles. When you first met this person, Pisces, or even it's kind of in the energy right now, this person may feel like they're, they're on again, off again energy with the Five of Pentacles. They're, and the reason they feel like this is because 
you can see they're juggling. They have a lot to keep up with in life. And um, I'm like literally seeing a mirage here. Like this person looks at you through these rosy colored glasses. Looking at the Seven of Cups here. This is you. They're looking at you through rose-colored glasses here, Pisces. And there's like this excitement, this, this fun that comes with this energy. <coughs> Tell me about this. This is your person, Pisces. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. King and the Queen of Cups. See, here's the King of Pentacles. Um, I'm feeling like you could, you could um, turn your back on this person three times. With that five of cups, I see three cups spilled over. And it's like you turn your back on this person three times. And, um... This is actually the love that you've waited for. You know, when it's finally coming in, here's that Ace of Cups coming down from the sky, the hand coming down from the sky. But I feel like there's this holding back from you. Like, um, you may, you may look past this person. You may not notice them at first when they first show up because I see like a huge denial of allowing this person into your life three times. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? And then you have the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Ace of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. And see, I told you you were the Empress here. There you are. This is Taurus energy, but you're the Empress here. You embody every queen. Um, and this is male or female. You embody all of the queens. You can jump into any one of these energies anytime you want. You've been there. You've done that. And... um. The Empress, unfortunately, has suffered a lot of broken hearts here with the Three of Swords. And so I'm feeling like you're very skeptical of this person. And very held back with the Four of Pentacles. Very reserved about this new opportunity, this new person coming into your life with the Ace of Pentacles. This is like the beginning of something great, Pisces. And this is a match made in heaven that is either coming into your life or this person has already showed up. And then see, here you are showing up here as another queen, Queen of Wands. And I feel like you're being tested right now, but you may not be being tested in the way you think you are. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Strength. There's a lot of determination in your energy here, Pisces. A lot of fire, a lot of determination. That you don't want to um, give this cup to this new love. 
see there's that ace of cups again you don't want to hand over your cup to just anybody because of what you've been through in the past there's a lot of skepticism here but you're in this very fiery attractive energy I feel like the person that's coming into your life, Pisces, I feel like they kind of um, take things not too seriously. I kind of see them here as being someone who's can kind of tell what I'm trying to say by look, look at the expression on this person's face. They're kind of grinning, but yet serious at the same time. And you've been through a lot here, Pisces, with strength and the Ten of Wands showing up. So you've been through a battle here. And I feel like there's still a lot on your shoulders, a lot on your back here that you can't let go of with the Ten of Wands. And there's this... I'm feeling this, even though this is the King of Swords showing up, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I'm feeling like this person shows up here with like a, a type of attitude. Oh, that's not that bad. You know, you're carrying around a lot of burdens. It's difficult. But I'm feeling like, I'm feeling this in a good way. Like this person has a light light-hearted way about them that gives you peace and then you have judgment so this is the test um of whether or not you're going to let somebody behind this doorway again because you probably ha have been seriously heartbroken here three times Maybe not all three by love, but there's three serious heartbreaks in your past. And so you stay up in your head like this with nine of swords. Um, is this for real? The three of pentacles is here. Why is the three of pentacles here? The ace of cups. Is this... Is this actually real? You know, does this person really want to come in and build and set to this stable foundation with me? <coughs> well, yeah, they do. Whoever this is, they do. This person wants marriage, home, forever. This is a twin flame. This is someone that you could have a child with in the future for someone watching me right now. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Chariot, Cancer, Energy, the Ten of Cups, and the Emperor. See, we have the Emperor and the Empress. This is going to turn into your happily ever after, this person right here coming into your life. This is, this is, things are moving very quickly here into marriage, love, forever, commitment. This is the fastest moving card in the tarot deck. This is chariot, cancer energy. And I'm getting the yes card. Yes, this is your person. It's, it's okay to step out of your comfort zone here with this person and let down your guards. Okay, and then um, the last two cards you have here is the Knight of Swords and the Tower. So let me see what that's all about. It's kind of getting... Um, a feeling that you're, that you're really 
in this skeptical energy here, Pisces, because of what you have been through in your past. And so you're kind of on again, off again. And like I said, this person could be at a distance from you with the Three of Wands. And whoever this whoever this is, this person they do not they see they see you as this you know as this opportunity I want to say but it's like this is true love also and this person is behind you with the emperor energy here looking at you like maybe denying this cup of love because I see you doing it three times you know like why are you doing this I'm right I'm right here yeah I'm right here this person's very serious about you why is the tower here The Nine of Swords, the Magician, and the Two of Pentacles. Believe it or not, you, you know, you've actually manifested this, Pisces. This is marriage. This is happily ever after. Happy home, happy family, a completion, the Ten of Pentacles, two people coming together. And this is something that um, you manifested. And as you can see here, there's like this owl on the windowsill. Like you were heard. You were heard. And the thing is, is you may not have expected it. Because it's coming in. It's coming in fast. And it's coming in unexpectedly. And it leaves you... Um, in your emotions where you're kind of going back and forth here. Is this right? Is this real? It leaves you with some confusion. Yeah. You could actually be... This, this is a student... You could be studying, looking for answers, trying to find out information because you want to jump into this. You want to take this leap of faith with this energy, with this person. This is Aries energy, but you're really, really up in your head and skeptical about it, about trust. There's a trust issue when it comes to equal give and take and whether this is going to be right this time around. Because you don't want that fourth sword in the heart. You're not going that far. You want to make sure things are right. Tell me what Pisces needs to know about this person. Yeah, this is destiny, Pisces. Um... The Wheel of Fortune is here next to the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone that, you, that um, is destiny that this person comes into your life. And they bring this healing energy with them. The Sun and Temperance are both healing energies from you turning and looking at the past. And there's three cups spilled over here. And the Two of Cups is right behind you. But you may be focused on what was lost in the past and not recognize that this new love, this is your person. This is the one that you're supposed to be with. The one the, si the sun shines on, the yes card. And this is the angel. This connection is being brought together 
by the divine. An angel pouring two cups together to create the Ace of Cups. This is this person is someone you were destined to meet, Pisces. Okay, let's get your Moonology cards here for advice. What does Pisces need to know? Advice for Pisces. You have your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn. And a time to give rather rather than take. New Moon and Virgo. And balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full Moon and Pisces. So just like on the Temperance card... You need to have one foot in the water, which is your emotional side, and one foot on the earth, um, grounded. You don't want both feet in the water or you're going to be off tilted. You want a balance to balance spirituality and practicality. So I'm feeling the need to tell you it's okay to bring love into your life at this time, whoever this person is. But um, you're being told here, communication is key, new moon in Gemini, and hold your vision, fixed moon. All right, you guys, thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys for all of your beautiful comments. And... um. Sending me all of your positive energy, healing energy. And um, Danielle has candles made again, you guys. They are um, manifestation candles. And they come with a tarot card for your manifestation um, that's meant to, to be for you specifically. And she will... Um, she, she blesses those and, um, th there's a process she goes through, you know, to get that particular candle to you. And, um, so it's, it's not coming by chance. It's going to arrive to you for a reason. And it comes with a little note and a manifestation that you should focus on for your life. And so if you guys are interested in getting one of those candles, she does have them back again. And just look in the description box at Danny's store. And um, you guys take care of you, and I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.